LAPD has recovered 16 stolen cars after officers say they followed a stolen car to an east side scrapyard. CBS 4's Michael Van Skoik has more on the department's effort to crack down on these stolen cars and why experts say certain cars are an easy target. This is where IMPD says a pair of 17 year olds and a 15 year old in a stolen car led officers ultimately finding 15 more stolen cars. Now state police are helping IMPD make sure no vehicle goes unchecked. Dozens of cars of all shapes, sizes and conditions sit tucked away behind barriers at this scrapyard off Euclid Avenue. Police returned to the familiar spot after tracking down a fleeing Hyundai that officers say had recently been stolen. Our concern is that this location uh, was the same location where um, over 20 stolen vehicles were recovered a couple years ago. So we do want to be thorough and, and find out if there are other stolen vehicles at this lot. Some of those stolen cars found at this salvage yard in 2022 came from as far away as Michigan, Georgia and Tennessee. Local mechanics tell us they're not surprised police are returning to find even more stolen cars a second go around. Junkyards don't care. Yeah, they don't track anything like that. They won't go through any of the logistics or technicalities behind it. They're just in it for the parts and the value of the parts. Mechanic Micah Anderson says that value can be quite large. You can piece them out bit by bit and get, you know, a couple grand from a car, even if it's in poor condition. Catalytic converters among the most profitable parts. Anderson says his shop has seen a number of catalytic converter thefts, but he's even more concerned about how easy of a target Kias and Hyundais are. The security systems are ba basically non-existent on those, and you can just break the ignition and easily get into those cars and start them and steal. Police say drivers should consider using steering wheel locks or even trackers in the event your car gets stolen. IMPD says Kia and Hyundai drivers can still receive a free steering wheel lock Monday through Friday. On the east side, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News.